out there a couple seconds left to, you know, to get the foul, um, to draw those free throws there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I really wasn't thinking too much. I, I knew that that play was called, um, and I had to go hard. Literally, Coach G, she was like, make sure you cut hard. And I happened to be open. Kylie made the pass. Um, and I trusted my free throw. So I was just like, you've been practicing this. You got this. So, and I was able to make both. I think that we kind of just came together and we were like, y'all, like, we can't let the games we've been losing distract us or make us doubt, like, who we are and who we know we can be. And I, before the game, we kind of all came together and was like, let's get this win. Let's trust in each other. Let's um, do the things we know how to do well. And we were able to come out with the win. So it was a good team win. Because you've been in a lot of these close games before. I mean, just how satisfying is it to come out on this end of it yeah, it's very satisfying, like, especially this tournament, we're playing games back to back. Um, Idaho is a really good team, and like, it's a lot of hard work playing these games. So to get the dub, uh, it means a lot. And I think it gives us confidence that when we get in those situations, again, we can execute and come out victorious. Especially in those last two minutes there, because you guys were down by five, and then a couple more points. Mm-hmm. In some minutes. I mean, just kind of what was what was coach telling you because a lot was going on there were a lot of different timeouts I mean Mm -hmm. obviously the conversation changes during all of those but what was kind of was there an overall message she was trying to tell you guys yeah she she basically just wanted us to focus like on our defense like if we could stop them she trusted that we could score on the other end so as a team we kind of just came together and like let's guard these guys and we were able to do that so it was good Where do what do I think we're at? Um, yeah, like at this point in the season, it's so early, but yeah. How do you, think you guys have been progressing? What do you still need to do better at? That kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I think we're just progressing in our togetherness and our confidence and um, our game plan. Um, I think you know this is what this time is for: is to continue to grow and to learn. So by conference time, we have more of um, an identity. So I think during this time. These, you know, this win that we got today, like it was good momentum for us. So, yeah. And just how important it is will it be to bring bring that momentum now into tomorrow because it mm-hmm. is such a quick turnaround and you guys are probably tired of playing now. You played two games, two days in a row. Games. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, we're definitely gonna have to bring that energy tomorrow. Um, like you said, um, it this is tiring. This is hard. Um, San Francisco is a good team, but I think, um, you know. After today, we kind of know what we can do. So we're going to try to do that again tomorrow. I just am so proud of our team. You know, um, they're so resilient. We got down by, I think it was seven. But in a game like this, when we're having such trouble scoring, seven points feels like 20. It's like, how are we going to get, you know, three baskets when we've had so much trouble getting, you know, the baskets we've gotten? Um, And like Nia said, we just really kept talking about our defense, find a way to get stops. We felt like we would figure out a way to – to score enough points if we could just get stops and that last group that you know got those last few stops I thought they were incredible defensively together um and they're just really resilient you know um Nia's free throws uh, in, after a timeout too when they're trying to ice her and make her think about it I just think like the mental toughness and the poise to hit those is incredible and you know the play of Kenna Holt she doesn't necessarily fill up a stat sheet with what is statted but man she makes a difference in the game she just is so relentless on defense and I just think it's so cool for her being from Reno like to have the community watch someone play like that I think fans love the way she plays and um yeah she I thought she did a lot of great things for us today we've talked a lot about your defense and your defense and the experience I mean just how do you hope that you know it's early in the season but just these first couple of games that they're really learning that hey we can do this when we're down by a lot you know late in the game but to be able to overcome that and get the win 
Yeah, well, that's definitely not the game plan, you know, playing from behind. But it, you're right. I mean, to learn how to win when you're down and not, like, give in to that and just kind of hang your head, I think our team is really tough in that way. Um, and also for us to win when Deja really struggled. She was in foul trouble, and Audrey Roden didn't score. And those are two players that have been, you know, scoring about 30 points a game for us. Um, and to win with those two players not scoring, I think, is a huge confidence boost because when they have it going, obviously things are a lot easier. Um, but I think, like, you know, through five games, we're still really figuring out kind of who we are. You know, Kylie Jimenez gives us a completely different dimension at the point guard spot. Deja played a lot of point for us last year. You know, bringing in Audrey Roden, and I think Kenna is so much improved. Like, we're just kind of still working out roles and people figuring out how to play to their strengths. And um, at times our defense is not nearly as good as I feel like it can be. Um, at times today when we really needed it, it was there, and that's great. But we need it, you know, more consistently for four quarters. And everybody we've played so far, when we have a breakdown, they hit every shot, I swear. We're like the cure for, oh, you've been struggling? Oh, come come against Nevada. You will find a way to knock down that shot if we mess up. Um, but that's good for us. You know, we can't have those let-ups. It, it, that's the best teacher is, like, they hit that shot. Well, I better learn my lesson. Yeah, and it, that's a blessing of the of a tournament like this is, you know, you can hang your head for five days if you don't play again, but to have a quick turnaround, you don't have time to do that. And so it's nice to be able to go back and play again and, you know, focus on something else rather than what went wrong yesterday. And, you know, yesterday we were down two points with the ball. We had a good look. We got an offensive rebound, and we didn't score. Today we're down one, you know, and out of a timeout, we executed and we got fouled. And so, you know, yesterday we came out. Um, we didn't execute it perfectly. We got a pretty good shot, but today I thought our execution was really precise and exactly what we talked about, and we got, you know, a really good look. And to me, that's growth, like having to score with, you know, being down at the end of the game and execute a pass and know what you're looking for. And, you know, from 24 hours ago, that's really cool that our team was able to do that. Yeah, well, San Francisco is really good, you know, and the third game in three days, I th everybody's tired, you know, and it's a matter of, like, who will not give in to that fatigue and find a way to just push through because no one's going to be at their best tomorrow physically. Um, you know, really encouraging the players to rest and hydrate and do everything they can to, to help themselves feel as good as possible. Um, but it'll be a great challenge for us tomorrow. You know, we were supposed to play San Francisco last year in this tournament, and then COVID happened. Um, but the field is incredible. You know, all three games so far have been really great basketball games, single digits. Um, this next game is going to be a great game as well, and I have no doubt, you know, the games tomorrow will be good too. Yeah, um, the rebounding was huge. I thought they were getting about every miss of ours, like third quarter, and I really got on our team in a timeout. Like, you have to want the ball more. Like, they're just coming up with the ball because they want it more than you. And, you know, credit to Lexi Given. She only had one offensive rebound, but we got two extra possessions in the last six minutes because she went after the ball and they knocked it out of bounds. And we ended up with five dead ball rebounds. Like, that is working hard for an extra possession. And those don't go to anybody, but those are five extra opportunities we have to score. And so I thought when they really locked in, okay, this is important, they did a really, really good job. Just what can you say just about, I mean, Kylie and Nia there in those last two minutes or so, I mean, just having that, that older experience and that leadership in those kinds of situations. Yeah, well, I just – I feel like Kylie's been there. She's been there for four years at, you know, close game, end of the game, ball in her hands. Like, she's comfortable in those moments. And Nia has put in so much work and grown so much as an offensive player here at Nevada. And, you know, she hit, a, the, I think, two big threes in the second half. But stepping up and wanting the ball in those moments, I mean, they really led the way for our team today. And I thought we're kind of the difference in the game with us, you know, winning this game or not winning this game.